Hey there guys, this is Phone Tech Kid, and I decided to add a new segment to my channel of where I look at some of the new Cydia tweaks for iOS 7 devices. Guys, this is the first episode I'm going to be doing, and this is the top Cydia tweaks for your iPad Air. Let's get started. So I'm going to go over these tweaks in no specific order, and the first one we're going to take a look at is no slow animations. So there's no setting for this. Uh, if we pop up into settings, as you can see there's going to be nothing there. But basically what this does is what the name is. There are no slow animations. Opening up all these different apps, they open up three times faster than what you usually get since you do remove uh, that iOS animation, which did take a lot of time to open up different apps and folders. So I found this tweak really useful as I just want to get into an app as quickly as possible and this tweak definitely gives you that option. So again, that's no slow animations and that is from the Big Boss repo. The next tweak that I wanted to go over is called Purge and this is also from the Big Boss repo. And basically what this tweak allows you to do is quickly delete the apps that are running in the background or in your multitasking section. So in the settings we do get an option section for the tweak and here we could choose between a kill all alert and if we wanted to auto dismiss the switcher. So basically if we pop up into multitasking, um, Basically, you go to any slide and you hold on to it. And once you hold on to it, you'll get a pop up asking you if you want to delete all the apps. Then all you have to do is click yes and it will do that. As you can see, there's no more apps left in multitasking. So, as you can see, we can also disable the pop up. So, if we pop up into some of our apps quickly just to get them running. If we now hold on it, it will automatically delete it quickly and this way you don't have to go through and slide them away one by one. This is very useful especially for someone who is a power freak. Next up is CC toggles and this probably has the most customizable options out of all the tweaks that I show you today. So if we pop up into settings, by the way this is also from Big Boss Repo and it is free we get a bunch of different options to go through. The first one is toggles. Here we can go and customize the toggles that are in our control center. So as you can see, there are the toggles and it actually changes them automatically. So you have a little bar to move them around. Sadly, you don't get too many options to choose from, but you can des definitely get rid of the ones that you weren't using and you do get a respring and reboot option. Next is under the quick apps section or control section which I found even more useful since you could add your own customized apps so for example if we go and add YouTube and I already added Cydia in settings and if we pop up into the quick controls as you can see they are all there and themed a gray kind of gray theme so I found a problem when having four but if we remove and only have three it doesn't have that problem anymore uh, it was a weird problem where it would kind of mix them all together and you'd click on one and it opened the wrong one. So I suggest only having three there right now if you are adding your custom apps. Last but not least in this section you can also choose how many you want showing up in one bar. So as you can see here I chose five and I could also cho choose four and you could kind of play around with that which one you like the best. I prefer 6 because you kind of get the most out of it. And this is an iPad, so you get a lot of screen room. Of course, you can also go and choose between 2, 3, or 4 quick controls also if you want to. And then at the bottom, you can donate. So this next tweak removes something that was added in iOS 7, but I really didn't like it. So this is called NC All Only. So the notification area, we get three different sections, Today, All, and Missed. And we don't really use all of those sections, so they're kind of useless. So if we pop up into settings, here we could go and disable the today and miss section, so we only have the all section. Uh, this kind of makes it a little bit easier to use the notification center, and this was something that shouldn't have really been added, or at least should offer some more features, as at least for me, it's really annoying to have three different sections. 
that all show basically the same thing. The last Cydia tweak that I wanted to show you guys today is called Doc Shift. And this tweak basically lets you customize your dock. So if we go into the settings of this tweak, we basically enable it and we get some different options to change the color of our dock. So for example, here we can make it dark if you want it to be like that. And let me just say right now that you really have to play around with all the different options until you find the one that you prefer. Uh, if we pop up here, as you can see, this is kind of like the stock one, except it's a little bit lighter. And you can also go back and we can go to the top and make it transparent if you want it to be fully transparent. I didn't really like that, but uh, as I said, you really have to play around with your preference. Uh, I liked the blurred in between one, and that's the one that I ended up going with as I thought that one looked best with most of the wallpapers. So guys, uh, this was a new segment that I decided to add to my channel. There's still going to be ROM reviews, and if you guys enjoyed this and want this to be part of my channel, please give this video a thumbs up, and also do subscribe if you're someone that wants to see City of Tweaks. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching. Also, do make sure to subscribe, as I said, for more City of Tweak reviews, and if you happen to be an Android person and want to see some ROM reviews. Guys, thanks for watching.